Live from Brooklyn Heights, it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, me, the Insane Board Game Freak. Oh, let's go, everybody. In this episode, the Patty Duke game. The board game. Quick, to the board game room. Identical cousins. They walk alike, they talk alike. Da -na 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 -na. All right, the Patty Duke board game. All right, here's the Patty Duke board game. And in this game, you get the board, you get the Kathy cards, red and green. And here you play markers. Pretty cool. Little miniatures. The old school miniatures. Old school playing pieces. Very old school game. Old fashioned board game. Um, now, in this game, um, you're going to have to go around the board. And you're pretty much matching up what to do, being that you're identical cousins. And there's washing dishes, playing records, dancing, and studying. Now, um, there's also spots over here, going to be going around the board, swimming, horseback riding, and then you got studying, and then you got dating, watching TV, and um, the other spots I already went over on the, um, the box insert. So now, here's the board, and what you're going to be doing is um, the object of the game is that Patty and Kathy Duke, they're going to be, um, they like doing, th they like to do things together. So they look alike cousins, they like to do things together, all right? <clears throat> and in this game, the players have fun matching cards of Patty and Kathy doing the same things. All right, so as players move around the path on the board, they try to stop on certain squares so that they can pick a green card showing Patty or Kathy doing the same thing as a red Kathy or Patty card in their own hand. When a player has matched a green card from the board with the red card from his hand or her hand, both cards are discarded and out of the game. The first player to discard all of his cards or her cards is the winner of the Patty Duke board game. So, what do you do? What else do you do in the Patty Duke board game? Um, this is it. Uh, you just gotta mix up the green cards and place three face down in each large picture area on the board. So you'll mix up the, these green cards and put three in each picture. All right. So now, after you do that. Um, the picture areas are the large purple and blue spaces showing various uh, activities. Um, before starting, there should be three green cards face down in each of the eight picture areas on the board. Okay? Um, <clears throat> shuffle and mix up the red cards now and deal four to each player in the game. The rest of the red cards are placed face down in the center of the board so that players may draw from this pile during the game. Players may look at their own cards. Each player takes one plastic playing piece and places it in the start square. So um, the start square right here. So you put all your play markers there. And then you start the game. Uh, throw the die and the highest throw goes first. The other players take turns clockwise from the first player. Okay. So now here's the die right here. And you get one of these old school wooden dies with the gold pips, which is pretty cool. Cool. Roll the four. Okay. So I would go four spaces. Identical cousins. Um, 
it takes a while to get these playing pieces out. So um, being that I feel that they're fragile, I'm just going to use my finger and show you and point to um, space. So one, two, three, four. So it says here, go to any other space. Okay, I'll get to that in a bit. So now what you're doing, um, the object of the game is to try to find green cards of the same number and picture the match um, and picture to match the red cards in a player's hand. Okay, so to play the game, moving around the board, each player in, in his or her turn throws a die and moves his playing or her playing, playing piece that number of squares. So um, players must always move in a clockwise direction as shown by the arrows on the playing board. They cannot move backwards. Players keep moving around the path during a game. There are two shortcut paths in the center of the board, which a player may take as long as he or she moves according to the direction of the arrows. Any number of players can stop on the square on the same square. Okay, um, on the path there are eight special red squares with points going into their own picture area containing green cards. If a player's piece stops on one of these squares, he is allowed to choose only any one green card in that picture area to see if it matches with a red card in his own hand. So, see these spaces here? They got little arrows going into the spaces, the big spaces in the corner or in the center uh, sides of the boards there. See? Okay. So when you go into those spaces, that's what you do. Now, any number of players can stop in the same square. And um, if a player stops on a square with the printed instructions on it, um, he must or she must do what it says. If the square says, go to any other space, the player is allowed to go immediately to any space the player chooses. Take card from other player. The player must take one card from any other player the player chooses. Um, the player draws one card from an opponent's hand without looking at it. All right. So you take a card from a pile. The player must take the top card from the unused pile of red cards and add it to the cards in um, the player's hand. If there are no cards left in the pile, then the player does not get a card. All during the game, players keep moving around the, the, the colored path trying to stop on one of the special red squares so as to be allowed to pick green cards from the picture areas. All right? So matching cards. The red and green cards match when both have the same number. You will find that one will be a Kathy and the matching card will be a Patty and the pictures will be the same. For example, the number 12 green patty card matches up with the number 12 red Kathy card. And both cards show a picture of skating. So if you had a number. Um, if you had a number. Try and think now. 12, let's just say. Or in this case, a 21. If you had a number 12. Kathy card and both cards show a picture of skating and they're in your hand then you would try to locate um, the number 12 so wait a minute scratch that um, if you had a number 12 Kathy card so you're gonna get cards that have the numbers here so all right so see how I have a 12 which shows Kathy skating and then here's a 12 card of patty skating. Okay. So now. The. Um, so on the path there are eight. Uh, special cards there. Okay. So. Um, if you had a number 12 Kathy card in your hand. You would try to locate the number 12 patty green card. Okay. On the board. So remember. You cannot match a patty with a patty. Or a Kathy with a Kathy. Of the same number. 
So um, you, if you if you had a number twelve, like um, one more time, I'll repeat the example. Uh, the number twelve green patty card matches up with the number twelve red catty card, and both cards show a picture of skating. Okay, so now follow me now. If you had a number 12 Kathy card in your hand, you would try to locate the number 12 Patty green card on the board. But remember, you cannot match a Patty with a Patty or a Kathy with a Kathy of the same number. Okay, you have to match a Kathy and a Patty with the same number. Alright? Not two same not two of the same names with the same numbers. Two different names but with the same numbers okay different colors too okay so whenever a player has stopped on a special red square as in um, the rule I explained before the player is allowed to pick a green card from that picture area to try matching um, the player must always go according to the following important rules First, the player must call out aloud um, whether um, they are trying to pick a Kathy card or a Patty card. This is done before the player selects that card. The card. Um, second, the player picks the card and looks at it. Then, if it is not the same card, uh, which is the uh, same kind of card, Kathy or Patty, that they called out, they must show the whole card to all the players and put it back on the board face down. This is so even if that card would match a card in in his or her hand. For example, a player called out, um, I pick a Kathy card, then he or she picked a green card, which turned out to be a Patty card. He or she shows the card to all and puts it back on the board. If the card picked is the kind Kathy or Patty, uh, the player called out, the player may now see if it matches any card in, in their hand. Um, they, they don't have to show the other players, though, um, what number a picture is on the card. So, uh, But if they want proof that he or she picked the right card, and um, they, they got to cover up, they can cover up part of the card and show the lettering for Patty or Kathy to the opponents. If the green card matches a red card in their hand, the player discards both cards. If the cards do not match, um, that player uh, has to put it back on the board in the same space it came from face down. All right? So, now um, the red wild cards, the, the green wild cards, you're going to get red wild cards and green wild cards that look like these, but green. And they'll say also say Kathy and Patty on them. So, um, the green wild cards are special if a player called out the right kind of green and Patty card. And, um, let me see, do I, do I have... Let's see if they have them in the deck here. I know they do. Wild card... Okay, so here are the Patty and Kathy wild cards that you're going to get, okay? So I'm going to explain those right now. And um, the green wild cards are special. If a player called out the right kind of green and card, green card Patty or Kathy, and it turned out to be a wild card, um, he or she can match this card with any number card in um, his or her's hand, Patty or Kathy. You do not have to match it with the red wild card. There are two green wild cards in the game. Remember, if your if your player called Kathy and the card picked uh, was Patty, even if it was wild, he must or she must show it to all players and return it to the board. Uh, as far as the other rule goes, I said before, um, the red wild cards are special. These cards may be discarded at any time without matching a green card. Usually, the player holding a red wild card will want to save it for the end when all other cards 
in his hand have been matched. If a player has made a match, he was or he he or she has another turn immediately. He must throw the dice and move as players cannot stay on the same space uh, and continue to choose green cards from the same picture area. The winner is the first player who has discarded all of um, their car their red cards, and that is the Patty Duke board game. So now let's go up top and see what my uh, reviewers about the game and my opinion. All right. All right. So my final thoughts. What do I think about this game? All right. Um, the Patty Duke uh, board game. It's it's a fun game. It's it's a light game. You're just going on the board trying to make matches and stuff and um you know, collect the right cards, you know, you roll a move. And uh that's pretty much basically it. I love the old fashionedness about the game. You know, the the old fashionedness. <laughs> uh that a vocabulary word I probably uh just thought about right now. Um I, I like the old fashioned way about the board game. That's what I meant. Um this game is pretty cool. You know, it's fun. You know, I like old school TV shows and old school games. And, um, you know, uh, th this game is pretty cool. I love the miniatures. The miniatures are great. You know, the player markers are really cool. And um, they're, they're kind of fragile. So, um, I, I usually, you know, uh, play the game with these player markers. You know, but I'm just really, um, you know, gentle. And I gingerly take them out of their packaging and, um, you know, just, uh, I, I use those player markers in a very careful way so that they don't break. Um, but other than that, that, that's basically it. I mean, you know, I'll probably, you know, order some, um, more, um, you know, uh, different player markers and use those for player markers for any games that have, um, you know, fragile player markers like these. And, you know, so this way they don't break, you know? But anyway, that's basically it. That's the Patty Duke board game. Um, that's it, everybody. Looks like, looks like this game is over. Board game freak out. Alrighty. Da 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 da. Patty Duke board game.